what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel and this video man i'm gonna blow you guys mind with this strategy that i just recently discovered and it's the it's it's a very secretive indicator that apparently not a lot of people know about so it's it's kind of cool um yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how to set this up i will show you guys what the strategy is it's great for five minutes scalping and it's a great buy sell indicator right like it's it's super, super accurate. And I'll show you guys how to filter out some false signals and stuff as well. So keep watching till the end. All right. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. So the platform that I use is trading view, get into trading view.com. This is not what your chart's going to look like. So let's go ahead and X out and I'll show you guys exactly how to set all of this stuff up. So once you get into trading view, this is what your chart's going to look like. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to move the high Kanashi. We're going to put the candles into high Kanashi mode. All right. The first indicator that we're going to do is called the V E N K Y Venkis scalping signals. All right. So far it's only got 469 people that I guess follow it or whatnot. So it's relatively new. Once we add that, it is super, super busy and annoying. So I like my charts to be clean. So we're going to go into the settings, go into style. We're going to uncheck everything except for a few things. So if you guys want, please do follow along. And as I'm doing this, I just have to put this disclaimer out there, right? None of this stuff is financial advice. So it's for information purposes only. Uh, and yep, not financial advice. So let's start unchecking these. Oh yeah, and before, man, some, some of you guys have been like commenting on here, which is kind of starting to get annoying about how these are not my, I'm like, I never claimed these are my strategies, all right? I've never, like I use these, I never ever claim that I've invented these or I created these strategies. Like I've got a, you know, I've got an amazing audience that's super supportive. So I make these videos to show you guys strategies that I find that I think you guys could find beneficial. I never claim that I make these strategies up or I'm the creator of these. So please don't get, don't get hurt. Don't get your feelings hurt and stuff like that because you've seen it somewhere else because I never ever claim that I created these. All right. I'm just showing it to you guys and hopefully I'm explaining it a little bit better and simpler for you guys to follow along. So yeah, just just enjoy and you know keep 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 the hate away, man. It's I, positive energy only. So the two the two things we will keep on here is the entry exit arrows and the MA trend line, and we're gonna get rid of everything else, and we'll keep we'll keep this right here as well. Okay. So as you can see, we went into settings, we unchecked everything while I was ranting a little bit, and uh, we're gonna keep the entry exit arrows, the MA trend line, keep these on. Click OK. Much cleaner, right? Much, much cleaner. Now, the second indicator that we're going to add is called the Williams percent. Oh, right here, the one by Stumer. Okay, let's add that. I'm going to make some changes to this too to make it look a little bit different. Uh, first, we're going to change. Well, I don't really care for this, but we're going to change that to 40. And you know what? Nah, I'm just going to take it off. I don't want to look at any of this stuff. All right. Click OK. So much, much, much cleaner looking chart now. So what exactly are we doing strategy wise on here? Or what are how do how do you filter out some bad trades? So number one, you're going to look for signals that you know, the, the VSS right here, right? This, this shows you the buy, the buy and sell signals, but we're going to filter those out according to the Willie right here. But the main thing that you need to look out for is you need, like if, if this, the line has to be green for you to do buy signals, the price action has to be above that to do buy signals. And to sell, it has to be below the red. Okay, so like this is a false signal. I wouldn't get into this stuff. The other thing to, to keep in mind is when you get a buy signal uh, or a sell signal, this line right here, look at the slope. Again, that's going to be subjective to opinion, but at the same time, you know, if, if you're really paying attention, hopefully you know when you can see a line going down 
or a line going up or a line staying flat, right? Like this would not be a buy signal because number one, the line is flat. This gives you a buy signal, but it doesn't matter because this line is not green and the price action is not above it, okay? So those are the things not to do. What kind of stuff should you be looking out for? And how do you, oh man, this looks like a good opportunity. Actually, you know what? This, this, might, be a, this might be a good buying opportunity right here. So basically what you're looking for is a buy signal. You see the line kind of trending up somewhat. It's green. If you zoom in, you can see that it's, it's green. And over here, the yellow line is above the blue line. So that's going to be the second indicator, right? That you're going to be using is when you when you when you get a buy signal, you want to make sure that the blue the yellow line is above the blue line. And when you get a sell signal, you want to make sure that the yellow line is below the blue line. Okay, so the yellow line is going to be how you're going to be able to filter out and increase the win rate of this. Okay. So this right here, you know, this, this, I, I honestly, I wouldn't really take something like this just because this line is flat, you know, relatively, it's not like trending up or down or anything like that. Um, so let's, let's kind of look at some examples of, of trades that would be like ideal. And again, not every trade is going to be ideal, um, but we're going to look for, we're going to try to put ourselves in, in some good positions. Like this is not a trade because yeah, you got a down, down signal to sell but the line is green, it's trending up and the yellow line is still above the blue line. It hasn't crossed over yet. This would be a great sell signal because right here, it's kind of, it's, it's trending down. You get a down, you get a sell signal, price action closed below, below the red line, it is red. And over here, you see how the yellow line has crossed below the blue line, right? This, this, would, this would be a great, great trade. Again, some could argue that this would be an amazing trade because you get a buy signal, the yellow line is above the blue, but it's still trending down. So, you know, for something like that, I might, I might wait a little bit to, to make sure that the, the, the trend continues kind of up, but I, I wouldn't have gone for this anyway. It's And one thing that you'll realize, and if you guys follow me on Telegram for my free weekly trades, or if you guys are members of my Patreon where you get to check out all of my trades, right? Links are in the description below, by the way. Like you'll notice, I don't take a lot of trades. I take, I take a decent amount of trades because I like the probability of success to be higher. You don't, to be a successful trader, you don't need to be trading every single signal. Like you have to be picky and choosy about that stuff because in the long run, you have to pick your spots. So here's, the, here's a great opportunity, right? It's starting to trend up from being down, right? You get your buy signal right here. The yellow line is above the blue line. This would have been a great little scalp. Again, this, this would be pretty good too because it's, it's, it's starting to come down. You see the down arrow. You see the yellow line below the blue line. Great sell. Swing it down. And this works great on the five-minute chart, by the way. Like this is, you know, one of the comments that I usually get is what time frames is the stuff good for? I'm, I'm looking at these charts for the five-minute time frame. So on the time, five-minute time frame, this works great on, it works on, Crypto, stocks, Forex, you know, anything that has price action. So yeah, you guys could use this buy sell signal on trading view on any of those different things. Let's, and you know, I, one of the things that I really like to trade is Apple. So let's see if this has some good signals for Apple, right? You gotta make sure everything lines up. This wouldn't have been bad. You see the line going down, right? False signal because it says up the yellow line isn't above the blue line and it's still trending red. So you're looking for sell. So when you get this, yellow line is below the blue line. It's red. It's trending down. This would have been pretty good, right? This, this would have been a nice little 
quick one for just 10, 15 minutes, just a few bars, right? Here's, here's another good one. It's starting to slow back down. You get, you get the cell signal. Yellow line is below the blue line. Kind of swing it down right there. So it looks it looks like things are things are about to go up in the next few minutes from what, what this is looking like. So this is this is great that you guys get to see this kind of live, right? Because this got triggered about ten minutes ago. You'd get in on this candle because this was the trigger candle, right? You always wait for the trigger candle to close. This right here, yellow line above the blue line. And it's it's green, so it's looking like it's trending up some. So yeah, this is this is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically the strategy, you know. So if you guys have any questions, of course you can reach out to me through my Patreon, and um, yeah, follow my free Telegram channel for my weekly free trades that you know you guys can follow along if you guys like. Again, not financial advice. And then um, you guys can just check out all the trades that I make in my Patreon. I, I post those almost on a daily basis whenever I take trades and whenever I exit out. So you guys know exactly what I'm getting in and getting out of my personal trades. And if you guys found any value in this, please do hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications about my future videos. And please do hit that like button on here and drop me a comment about what you thought about this. All right. So let's actually, before we end the video, let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, other stuff. Cause I know, I know people are always asking if this stuff works good for Forex and stuff. So let's look at some Forex examples. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's just do Euro JPY, I guess. Let's go right here. All right, cool. I just triggered a signal right there as well. And then if you, Saw this. This would have been this would have been a quick, quick scalp down arrow. It's trending down, as you can see. There you go. Yellow line below the blue line. Again, right here, another down signal. Yellow line below the blue line. Yeah. This this this. I I feel like this is a fairly accurate indicator, and I know a lot of people hate on indicators and stuff. I love using indicators. So. Yeah, as you can see, it, it calls out a decent amount of signals. Great, great swing right there. Quick, quick trade right there as well, right here. Yeah, and then it's, this is kind of cool because it kind of keeps you away from like the range, range bound stuff, right? So this way you it's it's actually catch you're you're catching in on some of the swings. So this is kind of cool. Red, 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 yellow line below the blue line, you swing it down. All right. Well, watch this other video that I've got coming up next. Click on it. It's one of my favorite strategies as well with the, one of my best uh, favorite uh, trading you buy sell indicators for five minute scalping. Check it out and I'll see you guys on the next one.